now we move on to the 23rd topic which is coming under the part 3 hence this will be writing 23rd 24th and 25th topics are writing and now this topic is about optimization real world problems on optimization now let's see the problem. A three-sided fence is built next to a straight section of a river which forms the fourth side of a rectangular region. The enclosed area is equal to 1800 feet square. Find the minimum perimeter and the dimension of the corresponding enclosure. So now they are telling a river is passing by. Now imagine this the river and a fence is done. Okay, a fence enclosed area. Now you must understand the fence won't be all the three regions. Why? Because one side is the water, so you don't cover that. Only three-sided region. So this is that's what it's mentioned even over here. Three-sided region. Now let us assume a few things. Let's consider length to be y, width to be x. Okay. And now the area is also given. That is 1800 feet square. Now See over here, very important in such problem, related rates problem, uh, sorry, optimization problem, that which they have asked to find minimum or maximum, it's the perimeter over here. So if it's the perimeter, you need to derive perimeter. If they mention area, then you have to derive area. Now in this particular thing, let us derive perimeter. So keep it for the second time because derivation is later, right? First, find the area. Area is length into breadth. Area is given 1800. Length and width is x, y. So we usually keep in terms of y. So write y is equal to in one side and all the other thing to the other side. This is the thing. Now, which is the quantity that needs to be optimized? In this case, it's minimum. So it's minimized. That is perimeter. That is only three sided. Now let's say it will be y plus 2x plus x. That is y plus 2 times width so that is p is equal to y plus 2x now we know over here y was written in terms of x right substitute everything like that now p with respect to x will be instead of y 1800 x plus 2x now look over here this is very important x is greater than zero can it be less than zero no it's uh, obviously it's a real world thing it uh, you can't have uh, dimension 0 or less than 0 so that's why we have this now do we can we estimate the maximum no we cannot because anything greater than 0 can be possible but we will get an optimum region uh, dimension in a while so now for this particular problem this is the uh, this is the perimeter equation now what do you have to do is differentiate this because let us find the critical values now this is critical values is what we have seen in the previous videos, the initial videos, critical value, finding increasing, decreasing functions. The same thing will be employed over here. Derive this. It is, see, this is a constant. This area is constant. It will be 1 by x. Derive it here. 1 by x is minus 1 by x square dy by dx. Okay, or derive it you or dash, y dash. So you will have minus, instead of 1, we had 1800 divided by x squared plus. Now 2x is there. This x goes off. It will be 1. So it is only 2. Then we need to equate the perimeter, the derivative of the perimeter to 0 to find the uh, critical numbers. And just equate it to 0 and solve for it. Now how it is done over here. Wait, let me just show you. See, this part is going to the other side other side of the equal to it becomes positive okay it'll be 1800 positive 1800 by x square then the division of x square take it to the other side will become 2x square and now divide 1800 by 2 and you will get um okay it's over here directly done in calculator but it's fine you can do it like this divide both the sides by 2 you will have 900 over here and square root x squared will be 900 square root of 900 you know uh, of 3 is uh, 9 is 3 so it will be 30 30 plus or minus see always remember when we take square root we'll have plus and minus now what about this minus cannot be the dimension because it cannot be negative isn't it it's always greater than 0 
So this is the dimension. Now x is 30, but is it the minimum value? How do we understand that? So now there are many ways to do it. Not many, there are only a couple of ways. So now one thing, critical value is 30, so we can write this and take a test value, which we have done before. So less than 30, greater than 0. I'll take 1. Why 1? Because it's easy to calculate, isn't it? So minus 1800 divided by 1 plus 2. Obviously, this is dominating. The value will be negative. Over here, this is negative. Okay. And then take more than 30. Because we know over here, when you square it, uh, anything more than 30 will be more than 900. So it will be less than Two, so it'll be positive value. You can put it in calculator if you're getting confused. Take 31 or 40 or anything, you will get the same answer. Now that means we have negative decreasing and increasing. So the graph is something like this. We have a minimum point. So we get a minimum point over here. Or there is one more method if you remember before we had done this using second derivative. So if you can derive this again, just do the second derivative of this. You will get this over here. 3600 divided by x square. How do you do that? Take x square up. It becomes negative power. And then solve it up. So over here you got this. And then now what do you do? Apply the critical values. Put the crit critical value instead of x. And solve. Over here you can see the value is positive. Greater than 0. That means if double derive at you and applying the critical number if it's a positive value it's concaving up so what do you have over here in the parabola minimum value so it will be absolute minimum 30 okay so we wanted minimum perimeter itself so the length is x is equal to 30 feet the uh, then we can find the width because we know it's 1800 divided by x so width is 60 feet so this is uh, this is how we can easily solve the problem. Sorry, I hope you understand this. It's all these steps. Now we'll go to the next uh, problem as well because this is a little bit different. Now over here they have asked to maximize volume, but the question is a little tricky. A box with no top is built by taking a six inch by ten inch sheet of cardboard, cutting x in squares out at each corner and folding up at the sides find the x that maximizes the volume okay what it means is now imagine you have a square like this okay now you might have remembered uh one you you might have uh, tried this before you can't make a proper box if the ends are there the corners are there so what you must do is you must remove these corners out take them out and then this can be folded and made into a box, okay? So that is what they are saying. Over here, this is the dimension, 10 by, uh, 10 by 6 inches, 6 by 10 inches, sorry. But you need to remove the squares over here. So how much will be that? That is x, right? You're removing x. So this is x over here. But in same side, there'll be two x's. Same thing over here and over here. And it goes on. So... The dimension instead of 6 becomes 6 minus 2x and instead of 10 becomes 10 minus 2x. So this is your length and the width. And the height over here is given to be x. That's the for the volume. Now you know all the three dimension. You can just, now it's very simple like what we have done before. So I'll quickly go through this. Volume means multiplying everything. Just write it as it is. And then over here, this is... Uh, interesting i mean not interesting it's important the domain obviously volume can't be less than zero so it will be always greater than zero but what about this maximum value now there are two dimensions over here isn't it let's find what is the maximum value this can have so this must be greater than zero why because it can't be less than zero greater than or equal to zero now find the x value Take this to the other side, it will be 10 greater than or equal to 2x. x must be less than or equal to 5. Okay, this means x is less than or equal to 5. But we have not written 3. Why is that? See, there is this is the bigger dimension. You need to take this other dimension limit as well. See the domain for that. 
6 minus 2x must be greater than or equal to 0. So take the 2x to the other side. It will be 6 must be greater than or equal to 2x. Or 3 must be greater than or equal to x. Or x must be less than or equal to 3. So this is how we get the domain. Okay. So that is important. And now we know uh, we can just multiply this inside. And we know how to derive. We have to derive and find the critical value equating to 0. Do it in calculator. You'll directly get the answers. Now, over here, look, there are two values. One is exceeding the limit of 3 and one is below this, uh, below, yes, within the limit. So take the one which is within the limit and you can solve. Yeah, that is the critical value but over here remember since it's volume we have to take all the endpoints since it's a lip i mean you know this is a uh, there's a condition given over here it's not like last time not x and y you can x and y can be anything more than zero no it's not like that over here there are there is a limiting factor because this cannot be negative so it must be greater than or equal to zero right in the last case there was no x like this no minus right so it could have been greater than zero over but here there is a limiting factor. So take the endpoints as well. Take the endpoints and put it in the volume equation over here, the main equation. Okay. Substitute over here. Instead of x, put the endpoints that is 0, 3, and also the critical number. Check where you get a maximum value. It will mostly be, uh, will be in the critical number. And that is the maximum volume. So now if you have maximum volume, then you can continue with the uh, you can easily solve for the x uh, uh oh x was already done so that that's it Ma uh, sorry if you have maximum volume you can find the length and everything you know because maximum volume is found sorry you have the critical number x that is the x value to be considered so substitute in these and you will get the answers height is same but length and width will vary that's it so please do try the other problems they are very very similar they are very, very similar. All the explanation is there. But I'll just quickly go through one of this. Uh, I'll just quickly go. See, this is also same, easy. You can easily try this. Okay. Now, I'll just tell you a little bit about this. They have told, show the rectangle of maximum area for a given perimeter. Now, over here, they have told the perimeter is constant, right? A given perimeter. So, we'll consider per, uh, area equation perimeter equation for a rectangle area is xy perimeter is 2x plus 2y now get everything in terms of y so take everything to the other side and you will get this equation put this back in the area equation and derive it okay and then you derive this once when we derive what happens is you will get this how try this because we have done problems like that before it is through the product rule u dash v plus u e dash. You can check this and this is the equation. Now simplify this. You will get like this and take this 2x to the other side and simplify. You will get p is equal to 4x or x is equal to p by 4. Now this is done. Over here the limit see x must be greater than 0 and what it should not be negative. So it must be less than within this value because this is the maximum value right. It must be greater but less than that. If it is greater than that, the area will be negative. See, less than 0. So, the limit is always 0 within this range. Now, the thing is, so maximum P by 4 is, uh, P, uh, perimeter is so much. X value, sorry, this P by 4. So, now substitute the other side. What is Y? X we know. Y will be P by 2 minus X and you will get again a P by 4. So, over here you are just substituting P by 4. Now that tells us the dimensions are same. That means it's a square. For a particular perimeter, for a given perimeter, this will become a square because if you derive and solve it up over here, the dimension of the x and the y considered will be same. So please do go through the, all the problems solved over here and check your answers by yourself after you solve it.